हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल टूडे वी विल स्टडी प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अप्रोप्रिएशन अकाउंट एंड पार्टनर्स कैपिटल अकाउंट फॉर क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी सेवन ए एंड बी आर पार्टनर शेयरिंग प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस इन द रेशो थ्री इज टू वन ऑन फर्स्ट ऑफ अप्रैल टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन देयर कैपिटल्स वेयर ए रुपीज फिफ्टी थाउजेंड एंड बी रुपीज थर्टी थाउजेंड During the year ended 31st of March 2020 the firm earned a net profit of rupees 50000 the terms of partnership are a interest on capital is to be allowed at 6 percentage per annum b a will get a commission of 2 percentage on turnover c b will get a salary of rupees 500 per month d B will get a commission of five percentage on profit after deduction of all expenses, including such commission. Partners' drawings for the year were rupees eight thousand for A and rupees six thousand for B. Turnover for the year was rupees three lakh. After considering the above facts. You are required to prepare profit and loss appropriation account and partners capital account. Now the solution. Net profit earned is by net profit rupees fifty thousand. and now we have to allow interest on capital to interest on capital for partner a and b a's capital is rupees 50000 on this we have to allow interest on capital at the rate of 6 percentage and b's capital is rupees 30000 on this also 6 percentage so their interest on capital will be 3000 for a and 1800 for b then the question says that a will get a commission of 2 a's commission 2 percentage on turnover our turnover as given in the question is rupees 3 lakh so on 3 lakh A will be allowed a commission of two percent, so that will be six thousand. Then B will get a salary of B salary. B will get a salary of rupees five hundred per month, so five hundred rupees for twelve months will be six thousand. And B will get a commission of five percentage on profit after deductions of all expenses, including such commission. So two B's commission. Now B's B's commission. How will we calculate? The question says that five percentage commission. on profits after deduction of all expenses including commission so 50000 minus all the expenses including this commission so from 50000 we will subtract interest on capital a's commission b's commission and also b's commission but we haven't calculated b's commission so from 50000 if we subtract interest on capital a's commission and b's commission we will get an amount 33200 which comprises both the divisible profit and b's commission so it is when b's commission is 5 percentage this 33200 is 105 percentage and therefore we will divide it by 105 and multiply it with 5 so b will get a commission of 1581 if you calculate this you will get 1581 and now the remaining profit will be distributed between the partners in their profit sharing ratio which is 3 is to 1 so two profit 
in the ratio 3 is to 1, A and B. A will get a profit of, uh, what will be the balancing amount? If we subtract all these, you will get an amount which is 31,619. Now, from 31,619 into 3 by 4, A will get 23,714. And to allocate B, 31,619 into 1 by 4, B will get rupees 7,905. Both the sides, grand total is 50,000 each. Now let us come to the next part of the question, partner's capital account. The opening balances are by balance brought down rupees 50,000 for A and rupees 30,000 for B. Now, all the, all the items written on the debit side of profit and loss appropriation account will be transferred to the credit side of partner's capital account. So, interest on capital, A's commission, B's salary, B's commission and divisible profit will all be transferred to the credit side of partner's capital account. Let us transfer by interest on capital. After interest on capital, commission to partner A and partner B, salary to B and profit and loss profit, appropriation account profit to A and B. Now, it is also suggested that there are drawings in the uh, drawings made by partners. So, two drawings. Rupees 8000 for A and rupees 6000 for B. And now the balancing figure. We will take out the credit balance to balance close down. We will grant total A and B. On the credit side, by observation we can see that credit side amount are heavier than the debit side. So, we will grant total the debit credit side of A and we will subtract the amount from the debit side to get the balancing figure. So the total here will be rupees 82,714. If you subtract 8,000 from it, you will get 74,714. Here the grand total will be 47,286. Now subtract rupees 6000, you will get 41,286. That's the 